Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at um, an interesting uh, Sparky Linux distribution. It's actually Sparky based on Debian testing and it also has the uh, Openbox um, desktop environment and interestingly it also has the XFCE dashboard as you can see. Now um, they've combined the two which is pretty interesting. You can just type into the search box uh, as you can see and your application appears. Now it is uh, kind of like a, a GNOME type environment as far as this XFCE uh, dashboard is concerned and escape will just get rid of it. It uh, So far it hasn't uh, performed badly. Um, just a couple things. If you do go ahead and try this, which it is an interesting Debian. Sparky is, has always been one of my favorite Debian distributions. This one here um, with the open box as you can see it's very nice it's got all the icons in the menus the menus do regenerate automatically so if you add applications like I did with GUVC view Kazam OpenShot uh, SM player if you add uh, applications they automatically add to the menu you can go into your uh, system and there are all kinds of uh, configuration options. Uh, let's see. And as you can see, you can configure your panel, your tint too. Um, it does have options for your advanced settings, your conky, you can turn it on and off. Uh, there's your panel to change your panel configuration. OB menu generator. You can generate a pipe menu or a static menu or a pipe menu with icons or a static menu with icons. You can refresh your icon set. And with open box you can check all of your start uh, options. The open box auto start. Um, so for example it brings up the file you can see that I added Compton, Clipit, X Screensaver, Synapse. You can pretty much add anything you like to it. Uh, that is your startup file with Openbox. And that, is, that has to be maintained manually in that text file. So um, out of the box, it's, a, it's kind of a bare bones system. There's not a whole lot of uh, applications pre-installed. Um, I installed Clipit and a lot of the things that you see here. Um, Redshift. Now uh, many of them did come in the accessories like Nitrogen, Midnight Commander, Leaf Pad, Screenshot, Conkey Manager. Those were all uh, part of the original install. And so as far as accessories go you do have a lot of options now um, as you can see in in my system tray in the uh, panel you can see that clip it is there P sensor uh, redshift and synapse this uh, with a little red dot that is Kazam now um, I haven't tried to change the appearance I haven't tried to change any of the uh, icons, uh, everything is pretty much stock out of the box. You can you can change your wallpaper. So, for example, if you right click, go into accessories, and then into nitrogen, these are your three that came with it. But you can pretty much change to anything you like. So, for example, if I wanted to change to a um, scenery wallpaper you can see that I'm going to put up a uh, picture of Prague because I'm thinking of visiting Prague in the Czech Republic 
Uh, but if I add that, you can see that it changes the look of the desktop. The panel is transparent. That can be changed. Um, I added uh, Chrome. I added GUVC View. I could not install OBS Studio. That needs to be compiled for Debian, even for Debian testing. I'm hoping that will change at some point. But I'm using GUVC View and Kazam, which ran no problem. SM Player, OpenShot, everything runs out of the box. Um, one thing I would advise against when you if you um, see this icon for um, an app a system update um, I did the upgrade and this uh, the, it broke the system so this I'm not sure why if it's doing a dist upgrade but I'm I don't I'm not using that uh, I'm using the command line so if I go into a terminal and I do sudo app get update and that's the this is the way that I recommend that you do it um, it's telling me that Google isn't signed properly and Steam is not signed properly but that's that's okay um, everything else is fine as you can see it's using the testing uh, repositories now so if I um, use the automated uh, it upgrades differently and it did break the system so I had to reinstall so I'm doing it from the command line uh, which means that a lot of these um, system settings like um, system upgrade I'm not using that uh, I did install NVIDIA 352.79 that is the best you can do under testing uh, that that worked fine I also installed my Broadcom Wi-Fi and that installed fine so uh, if you just stay away from this automated system upgrade uh, I think you'll be fine you can see that it is it's wanting to add 200 and 50 megabytes of archives and 237 megabytes of additional disk space will be used um, if I run, I'm gonna see what happens if I run through on the update and up if as you can see when I do sudo app get upgrade it's only telling me that 108 megabytes of archives so there is a difference between the two and I'm not uh, I'm not uh, so sure why that is it really shouldn't be but nevertheless I'm not using the built-in sparky upgrade I'm doing it from the command line I just feel safer that way so this is uh, Sparky Linux. Uh, it is based on Debian testing. It is running off OpenBox with the XFCE dashboard. It is interesting. It is different. You might want to take a look at it. And that is it for uh, this video, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And before I go, I'm going to, as you know, my two Boston Terriers, Buster and Molly, passed away last year. And we didn't get another dog uh, for a while. And just recently, we were um, thinking that we wanted to get another dog. So we, we got a, a dog from the rescue, from a rescue. Uh, and so we saved him. And he is three years old. He has a couple of bad habits, as some of the rescue dogs do, but all in all, he is terrific. Um, he sleeps all night. He's crate trained. He's housebroken. And uh, he's part pug and part who knows. Um, his name is Buddy, 
and I'm going to show you uh, my little buddy here so far he's a sweetheart let me move the camera so you can see buddy say hi buddy say hi buddy say hi buddy over here and he's a little sweetie as you can see he's got an underbite so when he smiles you can see his teeth so guys that is it for this video uh, and uh, my introduction to little buddy and uh, as I said please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care guys